Hi there everyone, welcome back to Dandelion Delphi Tutorials. We're still busy with arrays and today I'm going to show you how to find the largest and the smallest of values. This is a question that is often asked with arrays. So there are many methods of finding these values, but I'm going to show you the simplest one. What we're going to do is we are going to assume that the first value is our smallest one. We're just finding the smallest value in a list of numbers here. And I am keeping the index number. So I am keeping index number 1. And I'm assuming that 71 is my smallest number for now. It is the first one, so therefore it will be the smallest one. It's be like being the only child in the household. You are both your parents' best and worst child. So then my for loop is going to start at 2. Your program will still work if you start at 1, but it would be ineffective because the first time I'm looping, I'll be comparing the mark now in position number one with itself so I'm going to start at two and I'm looping all the way to the end of my array I'm comparing every array or every mark that is stored in array mark with the one that was previously stored in the index number i small so let's just have a look at looping for the first time my k will be two so I am comparing the value in 51, which is now array mark K, with the value stored in array mark 1. I small is still 1, so I'm comparing it with 71. And 51 is smaller than 71, so therefore I am storing now the index of the next smallest value. So I'm storing 2 in I small. Now my loop executes again and k changes to 3. So in 3, the value for the mark is 95. And is 95 smaller than the mark stored in index number 2, which is 51? No, it isn't. So this line of code will not be executed. I will loop through my whole array for array marks and in this way find the smallest value. Once I have completed this loop, I then can display the worst mark that would be stored in array name i small, the surname will be in i small, the mark in i small, as well as the grade in i small. Here is now your opportunity to practice. So you can do both of these menus, and I'm going to show you the memos to the answers soon. So Press pause and see if you can produce the same output. Here is now the solution for highest and lowest. And I'm starting with the index 1 as being both the highest and the lowest value. I'm looping from 2 to the end of my array. And I'm comparing each value in the position K with that of I low. If I find a mark that is lower than the current value stored in the index I low, I then overwrite I low with the current index for my for loop, which is k. In the same for loop, I now can compare if the mark is higher than the mark stored in the index i high, and I do the same thing by storing k if I find a mark higher than what is currently stored in high, i high. Outside of my loop, I can then very easily display all the information for the learner with the highest marks, and then all the information for the learner with the lowest marks. Here is the solution for the surnames menu. And I need to find both the person who is in the first position of the alphabet and also the one who is last in the alphabet. So therefore, I have two integer variables holding the index now of the first person, making them both the person in the first as well as the person in the last position of the alphabet. Then I loop through my array and I don't want my program to be case sensitive so I've added uppercase. Some of these surnames were entered with lowercase letters and in our if statement we are comparing the surnames in the current position of K with that one that was previously stored in I low. When our if statement is comparing two strings with each other, it actually looks at the first character and then comparing the values using your ASCII table. So a surname that starts with A will have a lower value than a surname that starts with Z. 
if you are comparing two surnames with each other that both start with the same letter, your if statement will automatically go to the second character to determine which one has the lowest value. Outside of my for loop, I can now display the person who's first in the alphabet using I low, and I can dis display the person who's last in the alphabet using I high as the index.